Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am your host, Vortex, from MobileMusicPro.com, your home for mobile music production. And if you are new to the channel, what we do here is release weekly videos teaching people how to produce music on their iOS device. And in today's video, we're going to be showing you how to use Jordan Rudis' fantastic GeoShred app to control those super sophisticated swam instruments from audio modeling, right after this. And remember folks, if you do enjoy this content, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Now for those of you that don't know, these SWAM instrument apps from Audio Modeling are state-of-the-art, physically modeled instruments that don't use any samples. So the file size of the apps remain relatively small while still providing the most realistic sound possible. Now these proprietary algorithms that Audio Modeling has developed allows for an extreme amount of expressiveness. And a few examples of these can include a violinist gliding from pitch to pitch, or a variable speed clarinet trill, or a flautist gradually introducing vibrato while swelling the volume of a note. These types of customizations are generally hard to create with samples alone, but when you do combine physical modeling with the extreme expressiveness of some of these MPE controllers, you can really start to blur the lines of what is real. All right, and now with that intro aside, let's hop right into Cubasis and start trying to control these SWAM apps with GeoShred. Now for today's video demonstration, we will be using the Violin app, but don't forget to check out the rest of the amazing apps from Audio Modeling as they cover a pretty wide range of instruments, including things like strings, brass, wind, and much more. So what we have here is a really simple project created inside of Cubasis 3 using some MIDI recorded from the GeoShred app. So first we'll play you that so you can hear what it sounds like, and then we'll go through these step-by-step -step instructions. So now let's go ahead and hear what that sounds like. We have just a quick 16 bar loop here. You can see that we have the drums, sub bass, bass, and then our SWAM instrument here, as well as some loops from our Serenity sample pack. And then finally, a background ambience from our FX toolkit. And again, what is coming from SWAM is going to be the violin here. So let's go ahead and listen to what this sounds like. All right, beautiful. Now, as you heard there, there was some additional processing on that violin, including things like a Studio EQ, the Lighter plugin, and a beautiful FAC Alteza, which is pretty much one of the best reverb apps on iOS. And then you can see in the MIDI effects here, we do have GeoShred, as that is the app that we use to play in all that MIDI. And now let's go through step-by-step step and show you how to set that up for yourself. Now, since we are inside of the Cubasis DAW here, what we're going to do is show you how to set this up via AUB3. But then after that, we'll show you how to do it with just virtual MIDI outside of a DAW. All right, first up, we're going to add a new MIDI track. So let's go to add and let's go to MIDI and let's drag this all the way to the bottom so we don't get confused here. And we'll give this a different color that we haven't used yet. All right, and now what we're going to do is select our AUV3 SWAM instrument. So we'll tap on the instrument and go to our AUV3 audio units and we'll scroll down to where it says SWAM. There we go, SWAM violin three. So we'll tap on that. Now, of course, you can already start playing with your regular keyboard. But that's not why we're here. We want to show you how to control this with GeoShred. So the first thing we're going to do is expand this app a bit, and that's so we can expose the additional MIDI settings. And in fact, let's hide the list browser as well. And now what you get is a view pretty close to the standalone version of the app. Now the first step that we have to do is tell the SWAM instrument that we want to send it MPE MIDI. So to do that, we'll tap on the MIDI settings here in the top right hand corner. And that's going to give you a couple of additional options here, including the presets and mapping table. But we're going to tap on the presets. And this will bring up all of the additional MIDI mapping presets that were already created by default from Audio Modeling. And as you can see, there are a bunch of different devices in here, including the Seaboard and a bunch of others. But what we're going to be focused on, of course, is going to be GeoShred. So let's tap on the GeoShred default factory preset. Now that we've done that, we can close out of the setting by tapping on the X here in the top right hand corner. And now that we have our SWAM instrument set up to receive MPE MIDI from GeoShred, all that's left to do is add the GeoShred app. So let's close out of this or just minimize this here. We'll go to our MIDI effects and click on tap to add effect. Let's scroll down and find our GeoShred app. Here we go. Tap on GeoShred. Now will just take one second to load here. And again, let's hide our list browser. Now by default, the app will be able to play the instrument. For example, you can just start tapping. 
but you won't be able to get any of those additional MPE settings like Vibrato and Glide. So to enable that, we have to go into the settings of GeoShred. So what we're going to do is maximize the GeoShred app so that we can see as much as possible here. And then what we're going to do is tap on the options in the top right hand corner. We're going to scroll down here to where it says the MIDI settings under global. Tap on MIDI. And that will bring up an additional menu here on the left hand side. Now, what we're going to do is scroll down. As you can see, there are a bunch of different settings here, again, for different instruments. But what we're going to be focused on is GeoShred. So what we're going to do is tap on Swam. And now GeoShred can send all the proper MPE MIDI to the Swam app, and it will accept it. So let's close out of these settings here. Tap on Close. And now when we start playing, we should get all those additional expression settings. So I'm going to tap on G, and then I'm going to add some vibrato. And there you have it, full MPE expression. Oh man, using GeoShred with these instruments is just way too much fun. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do to set up GeoShred with a Swam instrument is first set up the MIDI settings to receive GeoShred inside of the Swam instrument, and then head on over to GeoShred and select Swam in the MIDI settings. All right, now we just showed you how to set up GeoShred with the Swam instrument apps in AUV3 mode inside of a DAW like Cubasis. But now let's show you how to do it with just virtual MIDI outside of a DAW, where the apps are just in standalone mode. So the first thing that we are going to do is go to our options here in the top right hand corner. Then we're going to go to settings. Then what we're going to do is go to options and enable the virtual MIDI ports. So we'll just tap on that and it will require a restart. So it says to enable virtual MIDI ports, you will have to restart Swam Violin 3. So we'll say okay. And now what we'll do is just close that up and then restart the app. Okay, now we have the app restarted and it's time to now load up GeoShred. So let's go to our GeoShred app. We'll just find that inside of our instruments folder here. Open up GeoShred. All right, now that we have GeoShred pulled up here, what we have to do is adjust the MIDI out settings. So what we'll do so we'll go over to the top right hand corner, tap on our presets here. And what we're going to choose is preset number 157, which is MIDI out control swam. So we'll tap on that. And then we'll tap on our settings in the top right hand corner and then go to the MIDI settings. And what we're going to do is make sure that we have either swam enabled or MPE channel mode enabled. And now we should be able to control that swam instrument with GeoShred. And that means full MPE control as well, which means sliding, gliding, and vibrato. But that's pretty much all that there is to it. Just make sure you enable virtual MIDI inside of your Swam instrument, and then head on over to GeoShred, and make sure you do select that preset that is MIDI out control Swam. All right, and now it's time again for our final thoughts. And if you are still rocking with us, then we just can't thank you enough for being here, especially those folks that are here every single Wednesday and Friday to watch our live streams and our live premieres. Now we really do hope that this video has helped you because if you are just still trying to control those amazing Swamp instrument apps with just a regular traditional keyboard, you really are missing out on a lot. And something that I really love about all of these Swamp instrument apps is that they really provide a ton of different options for you to go deep instead of just throwing a thousand presets at you. Me personally, I'd rather just adjust a couple of different sliders and check a couple of different boxes to get entirely new sounds as opposed to going through a thousand different presets. It's something that I find really interesting because it's almost like sound design, but sound design for real instruments. Now, of course, in addition to just MPE apps, there are real physical MPE controllers. Using something like a Seaboard Rise, for example, with some of these apps would really just be a complete joy. But we don't have one of those just yet, so Roly, if you are listening, maybe send one our way so we can do a review. And finally, we have a very special product launching next week that we just can't wait to tell you about. So if you do want to keep up to date with everything that we're doing over here at the channel, including releasing new products, new videos, new giveaways, contests, and more, then definitely make sure to sign up for our completely free newsletter at mobilemusicpro.com newsletter. And so until next time, everybody, keep talking music. We'll see you later. Hey everybody, Vortex here, and if you're not aware yet, we now have over 100 fully edited mobile music tutorial videos. And we make music every single Wednesday live on our channel right inside of Cubasis on our iPad. Plus, we also have a bunch of free sample packs, guides, and more at our website at mobilemusicpro.com free. And so if you are into that sort of thing, producing music on your iPhone or iPad, then definitely make sure to subscribe and check out the rest of the videos on the channel that we know you'll love.